Number 12, what is the hybridization of the central atom in each of the following? And then we have PCL5, so we have phosphorus pentachloride. Now, whenever they're asking for hybridization, the easiest thing to do is to always draw the Lewis structure first. Can't really determine what's going on in a hybridization. I mean, maybe we can for this one, but for hybridizations that are much more tricky, you always got to look at that Lewis structure. So before even going into all the rules we have to memorize for hybridization, let's just quickly draw out the Lewis structure. Now there's tons of videos on the channel designated to just drawing Lewis structures. So this will kind of be like a recap. So if you always need to learn more about how to draw Lewis structures or why I did something here, you could always go back to the, that playlist and check out those videos. But let's see if your Lewis structure matches mine. Now remember, when you're drawing your Lewis structure, the least electronegative is in the middle. So phosphorus is way less electronegative than chlorine. So phosphorus in the middle, surrounded by the three chlorines. So maybe I'll have one, two, three, four, and five. That looks nice. Now let's just draw our valence electrons. Phosphorus is in group 15 or 5a. So that means that it has five valence electrons. So I'm just going to draw five dots around phosphorus. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. And chlorine, that's a halogen. Halogens are in group 7a or 17, but the seven is the lucky number here. Um, that's got seven valence electrons. So I'm just going to draw seven valence electrons around the chlorines. Do, do, do. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm starting my day off bright and early, doing these videos for you guys. I love doing them, though. They're fun, especially these, because it's like coloring and teaching you guys and talking to myself at, to the computer. But it's fun. Okay, here we go. So now let's bind, right? Remember, always do a single bond first. So dot to dot, dot to dot, we make a, oh boy, Christina, can we connect the dots? Absolutely not. Never really learned that as a kid. So dot to dot, single bond, dot to dot, single, 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 and then, there we go. Just check your outermost elements just for the octet rule, and all of them have the octet, so that means I can't touch any of those single bonds, and phosphorus is all good because even though it has 10 electrons, it can have an expanded octet. So basically, we're only looking for the phosphorus here, because phosphorus is the center or the central atom. Now, when we're talking about hybridizations, there's a max of five hybridizations you got to know. Maybe your teacher or professor are nice, and they, they only want you to memorize the first three, but it doesn't really matter because it doesn't get any harder if you just have to tackle on the, the two extra ones. So the hybridization always corresponds to how many letters are in their name. So for example, an SP has only an S and a P letter. That's two total letters. SP2 has one S and two P's, P squared, two P's. So that's a total of three letters. And if you go all the way down here, SP3D2, you got one S, three P's, and two D's. That's a total of six letters. Now the letters correspond to how many things are around that atom that you're talking about, in this case, phosphorus. But what classifies as one thing? Well, one single bond is one thing, one whole double bond is one thing, one whole triple bond is one thing, and a lone pair of electrons. Now, they only wanted phosphorus, so I can only look and see what phosphorus is doing. And it seems that phosphorus has a lot of single bonds around it, right? It's got one single bond. That's one thing. It's got another single bond. We now have a total of two things. We got another single bond. That's three things. Four things coming up. And five. I don't see any lone pairs around the phosphorus, right? I don't see a lone pair like here. I can't use any of these lone pairs because that's not to phosphorus. That's to chlorine. So I've exhausted all my things. I have a total of five things, which means five letters. So that's S-P, S-P-3-D. 
That's the total of five letters. And that would be the hybridization of the phosphorus, sp3d. And just know that these are the orbitals that are overlapping with each halogen here. So one would be an S, there would be three P's, and then one would be a D to get this Lewis structure. And that's it. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. And yeah, if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much for that. So let's just, let's just keep working hard. All right. Good luck on your tests and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.